Hi, I saw a few of you already peeking at these insects here. I bet you have not seen them before, at least not this much up close, but actually they might be in your backyard. And what's even more, they might be the key to solving one of the biggest mysteries in biology, a mystery that even Darwin himself could not solve. Um, so let me first tell you a little bit more about them. So these insects, really together, they are a miniature underground farm. So the yellow ones, the ants, they act as farmers and they keep aphids, and that's the, the white ones. They keep them inside their nest. They build stables for them and they milk them. So these aphids, they drink from plant roots. And you might know they're green sisters that destroy your rose bushes because they eat them. Well, these aphids destroy other plants by eating the roots of these, these plants. And their poop, it's full of sugar and it's the favorite food for the ants. So the ants, they tap with their antenna, they tap the behind of the aphid and then the aphid makes a little drop of sugar that the ants eat. And who doesn't want to get candy like that? <laughs> time and time again, right? So the ants, they do everything in their power to get more candy. So they clean the aphids, take really good care of them and they also um, protect them from predators. So if I come in wanting to study them and lift the rock, the ants come out and grab the aphids and bring them to safety. So I just told you that they might actually help us solve a problem in biology, a very big problem. And that is because this interaction, a positive interaction like that is called mutualism. Two species interact, they work together and they both get something in return. And Darwin made his theory of natural selection and recognized that actually that didn't explain how species could evolve to work together, to help each other. It's, it's much like the ants and aphids are two best friends forever, Lindsay and Stacy. And uh, they, they always hang out and one of them is really good in mathematics and the other one is really good in French. So they help each other out, however, they both want to be best in class. And only one of them can be best in class. So you can imagine by the time that the exams draw nearer, actually Lindsay starts bullying Stacy to also teach her German and also teach her English. Uh, and in the end, um, they would maybe fail the class because um, their friendship fails and they don't help each other anymore. Well, we would expect the same to, help to happen with ants and aphids. One of the two would evolve into a parasite of the other one and the whole system would go extinct. Yet, they are still here and what's more, they have literally been best friends forever for more than 20 million years. So I'm studying why this is the case. And let me tell you this, I already did some discoveries by flicking my rocks and I discovered that it might actually be the plants that the aphids feed on that determine whether they can be friends or not. Much like um, Lindsay and Stacy would have one particular teacher that would allow them to be both best in class and their friendship could last forever. Thank you. <laughs>